All right, we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with my Japan tag. And uh, the tag was originally started by Emily Louise in Japan, but I first found out about it through uh, Cat Loves Osaka. And it's a couple months old, but I figure, you know, better late than never, right? <laughs> so um, the basic gist of the Japan tag is to answer uh, 10 questions about uh, my life in Japan and things like that. So you guys get a better idea of why I'm here and why I like Japan so much and stuff like that. So that said, here we go. And I got my notes off to the side, so that's why I'm looking over here. So um, here are the questions. Uh, question number one, why did you move to Japan? So um, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm currently in the uh, United States Navy. So the, uh, the basic, uh, the long and short of it is um, I got orders out here to Yokosuka, which is a town about half hour, 45 minutes south of Yokohama, and about an hour and a half, two hours south of Tokyo, just to give you guys an idea of where I live. And I got a nice house close by, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I got orders out here to a ship in Yokosuka, and that's basically why I'm here. You know, I'm in the Navy, I'm stationed out here, and uh, doing good things. America. <laughs> Stuff like that, so yeah. Um, question number two. What's your favorite Japanese food and why? So I've answered this question before in my uh, top five Japanese foods. Uh, I'll put a link to it uh, down below in the boopy boop, and it's probably off to the side in my suggested videos anyway. So in any event, check it out. So um, basically, it's a toss up between curry rice and ramen. I love them both so much, and it's just it's, it's really good. So um, definitely check them out if you ever get a chance to come out here to uh, Japan. So question number three. Where is your favorite place in Japan and why? So, um, I have two favorite places in Japan. Uh, both Ochanumizu and Akihabara are my favorite places out here. And uh, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Ochanumizu is basically like the uh, guitar city of Japan. It's a whole neighborhood filled with like guitar shops and uh, musical instrument stores and all kinds of stuff. So if you're a musician, Ochanumizu is definitely a good place to check out. So. Uh, Dig it. <laughs> and Akihabara, well, what what else can be said about Akihabara? It's the uh, electric town of Tokyo. And uh, it's the electric district. They sell a lot of electronics, video games, uh, both old and new. I have to point that out. Um, and it's also a hot spot for anime lovers as well. So they got like stores for figurines, uh, DVDs, uh, manga, and all kinds of stuff. So if you're into that sort of stuff like I am, it's definitely a place to check out. Let's see. Question number four. What is your favorite Japanese word or kanji and why? So I don't really have a particular favorite per se, but uh, one of the words I like to use that really kind of turns people's heads is uh, kaigun, which is Japanese for Navy. So when people ask me like what I do for a living, you know, I say like, American no kaigun desu. Shigoto de. So basically saying, you know, I'm in the American Navy, so and they kind of look like it. Eh? <laughs> they kind of look at me funny, so um, I just kind of like that little reaction. It's just like, oh, I can't believe that foreigner knows that word. <laughs> so there's that. Question number five: What is your favorite thing about Japanese culture and why? So, um, in addition to Japanese culture being uh, very different from American culture which is one of the reasons why I got interested in, in it uh, initially. Um, one of the things that really intrigues me about Japan is that, uh, you know, I've, I've traveled to all sorts of countries around the world, so um, I have got a bit of a scope outside of, you know, America's viewpoints and stuff like that. So uh, one of the things that intrigues me about Japan is that while other countries are trying really hard to be like America, and try to do things the American way and stuff like that and they tend to lose their own cultural identity I've found just through somebody on the outside looking in pretty much is that um, anyway Japan likes to incorporate uh, American things and they tend to make them their own so they still don't lose their uh, Japanese-ness so you know what I'm saying is like you see stuff in like blogs and stuff like that all the time about you know oh Japan's got this weird looking hamburger or you know 
We got this weird looking car, this weird music and stuff like that. So the Japanese tend to incorporate things outside of Japan, but they still like to transform it and make it their own. And that's what I really love about Japanese culture is that it's still Japanese because they made it their own. So. Uh, question number six. What is one thing that has surprised you during your time in Japan? Um, <laughs> I think the one thing that surprised me right out, right off the bat is the fact that the, there's a lot more fat people here than I thought. And I'm not just talking about foreigners, I'm talking about fat Japanese people, you know, <laughs> beyond, you know, sumo wrestlers and stuff like that. And as someone, you know, from America who has always heard, you know, in all the diet stuff, you know, oh, there's only 3% of Japan that's overweight or obese, the rest of them are just, you know, sticks and maybe like 50 pounds a piece, you know, <laughs> and I come to Yokosuka and, you know, they got fat Japanese guys with like their bellies hanging out and like double chins and shit like that. And I was like, whoa, hey, I guess all the 3% here in Yokosuka, right? <laughs> so it must be all that nice American food, just saying. All right, question number seven. Have you picked up any Japanese habits? So, um, there's a couple Japanese habits that I have picked up just through osmosis and just simply being in Japan. One of them is, you know, the little quick bows and stuff like that, as well as, you know, making uh, little Japanese sounds, you know, like if you sit down, you go, Ugh, or something like that, Ugh, you know, kind of stuff like that, or, you know, if I'm getting on my bike and starting to pedal, you know, yes, stuff like that, you know, just little Japanisms, as it were. Um, so basically, um, I'm from uh, Ohio, in America, so um, in my little neck of the woods in Ohio, it's very common that if you see somebody, you know, whether it's a friend or just maybe someone you know from your hometown or whatever, it's pretty common, you know, if you see them, you know, somewhere else, you know, like, hey, give them like a little bow. But not really a bow, just like a nod, a little head nod, and just a nod, oh, hey, I kind of know who you are, but I don't know a lot about you. I just seen you around town. You know, I, I know you're from my town or you know I've seen you around so you know hey <laughs> something like that so to trans to transition from to was pretty simple for me pretty uh, pretty smooth so you know it wasn't that bad all right question number eight where is the next place you want to travel to in Japan and why so um I have a lot of places that I want to travel to in Japan just loads of them um, but just to name a few, I'd have to say uh, Kyoto, Osaka, Nara, Okinawa, Beyond White Beach, um, uh, Sapporo, uh, Hiroshima, and Nagasaki for obvious reasons. And plus I've heard that they're just gorgeous places, you know, in general, so. Anyway, uh, question number nine. If you could start your life in Japan again, is there anything you would do differently? Um, Obviously, there's lots of things, you know, um, that I would do differently, you know, be a little more open-minded, I don't know, just lots of other things. But I think the main thing I want to, I would have done differently if I were to come back to Japan again is to uh, learn more Japanese and to stick with continuing to learn more. And, you know, just study more, learn how to read and write it as well, or at least read, you know. Um, also, probably going out and socializing more, which would kind of help me with my learning Japanese and stuff like that. So, just that. And the final question, question number 10. What's the best single piece of advice you have for first timers in Japan? And this kind of goes along a little bit with uh, question number nine. So, um, end all be all advice if you guys are planning to come out to Japan, whether it's you know, for a holiday visit, if you come, if you plan on coming out to live here, to work here, uh, whatever the case may be, um, if you do decide to come to Japan, um, I would recommend to be open to new things. It's going to be a vastly different culture from wherever you come from. So just be open to new things. Uh, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Japan is very forgiving of foreigners. So um, I wouldn't go around, you know, purposely making mistakes. But if you, uh, tend to, you know, make a few mistakes here and there, something like that. It, they're generally very forgiving of foreigners for making mistakes. Um, if you plan on staying here a bit longer than just like a holiday visit, I would recommend making Japanese friends, which will help improve your Japanese, 
help you get out into the community a bit more, just be more sociable and stuff like that. So it can lead to uh, more opportunities here in Japan. And uh, definitely just get out there, get out there and explore. You know, you didn't you didn't come to Japan to eat McDonald's all the time, did you? So, <laughs> you know, that's you know my biggest piece of advice for people planning to come out to Japan. So, uh, the last little part of this tag is to tag people. And the common number is five, but I decided on six. So, that said, I tag Grace from Texan in Tokyo. I tag Kevin from Busan Kevin slash Jlan Kev. I tag Sakana Jin, uh, my partner in crime of the Dog and Squid show, Bushido Devil Dog. I also tag uh, Nanda Mugai and Jake Knoll. So, yeah, uh, I can't wait to see you guys as. Uh, video responses to, to the uh, Japan tag. That said, this is the Andy Son. Sign up for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to this video and my other stuff. And if uh, you live in Japan or have lived in Japan before and want to get yourself in on this tag, feel free to leave a video response uh, in the comments below and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comments. Also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs and other peripheral devices like a mouse, <laughs> commenting, subscribing, and a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.